What's up? This is Kim Horchie for the Red Carpet Report. We are here at the 40th Annual Annie Awards, the biggest night in animation here at UCLA's Royce Hall. Tonight we'll be meeting some of the faces behind the voices that shaped your childhood, or at least mine. Let's go. Over. <laughs> Very good to meet you. My name's Kim. Hi. You are John and Christina. That's right. And you made Paper Man. I did. Which has hit the internet, and we it's hit the internet, and it's become a huge hit. But, well, it already was a hit in Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, what is it like to be to be recognized by the animated community for Paper Man? It's it's very nice. It feels good. It's a I, I have a lot of like I've been up for an Annie a couple times before, and I, I love the whole organization and the whole idea of it. So to have Best Short, I mean that's that would that's great just to be nominated. Sure. What went into putting it together? A long time and a lot of work. Um, it, it, it goes way back, like in my head. I've, I've had this short in my head for a long time, but um, it was after Tangled, they were looking for something to, to keep people busy between movies, and that's when we really went, you know, put it into real production. So. Cool. So where did the idea come from? It, it, it really goes back to when I was living in New York City, commuting every day, and just kind of crossing paths with people. And and wondering about like those random connections that strangers make, and and how, you know, maybe there's two people that are perfect for each other, and maybe they have a connection, and maybe they get separated. How would they find each other again? Um, so that's kind of the core. That's like at the heart of it. You ever, did you ever throw a paper airplane at a girl, get her attention? No. <laughs> I we threw some off some buildings in uh, Los Angeles to to test it out. It's pretty. It's actually remarkably thrilling, but uh, just watching them go and seeing where they where they go from one building to another. Can um, you actually get it in another window? Probably not. But uh, if you make a good one, at least getting in a straight line is good enough for me. So so uh, yeah, we did some research and development there. So. Was there ever any thought to make it? It's beautiful the way it is, but was there any thought to make it different, maybe with more uh, vocalization or? Uh, well, I, I really like visual storytelling that is clear no matter where you are in the world, and um, that's something that works in as, a, as an advantage to the short because it makes it very portable. You can take it all around the world, and you don't have to spend anything, any time or money translating, and it just communicates. And I think there's. The best films, to me, are the ones that you can understand when the sound is off, and and they're just very clear. You just feel an emotion without having to say words. You know. I do know. I, I watched it and I loved it, and I think a lot of people agree that it does have, it does speak to them without actually speaking, which is very hard to do, but very well done. Good. That's All right. Good to hear. Thanks for talking to us tonight. Uh, I appreciate good luck. it. Thanks for watching, and for more interviews, be sure to subscribe, and if you like this video, like it. Makes sense, right?